Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Monday Night Twitch. We are back at it again after miscellaneous C's hiatuses, hiatuses, and hiatuses, I think, hiatuses and sicknesses and vacations and all that jazz. Uh, but we are back tonight with another edition of our Carcosa campaign. I am Wandering Tuke. With me, as always, is Big Foam Loaf. Good evening. Good evening. It's great to be here. Last week was fun, so let's hope it for was. another one. That was great. We started a campaign in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and cross your fingers, this might be the first one I actually finish. Dude, if we don't, I'll be I'll be disappointed. If anyone will, it'll be our, two te our team, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like our chances. Okay, so we but are here, here we playing... Are. Uh, this is the Pallid Mask. Woo. Here we are. This is a good one. This is a fun one. This is a lot of fun. This is a fun, fun quest. Maybe we should um start, before I read the intro to the, to the Pallid Mask, Scenario 6, should we review our campaign notes? Because it's been a while, hasn't it? Okay. It has been a while. Um. So, uh, Roland and Wendy were uh, driven insane and taken in at the yeah. local asylum. How nice of them. They were, insti they were institutionalized. In. Yeah, to just take them in like that. So uh, Safina and York have picked up the investigation. Uh, we s we've earned a lost soul since then each. That is a weakness that will undoubtedly pop up. And we each have a physical <laughs> trauma. Hey. hey. <laughs> a little worse for me than it is for you, York, but yep. we'll manage. So we'll our, manage. our campaign notes as Roland and Wendy, you tried to warn the police. The stranger's on to you. You fled the dinner party. The Rougarou continues to haunt the bayou, <laughs> and that's part <laughs> of the reason why Roland died. Uh, we took the Onyx Clasp. The king claimed his victims, and you did not escape the gaze of the phantom. That's right. That's right. We did not. So, so I think, what are, what's our doubt conviction count? Uh, low. Doubt zero. Conviction two. Okay. And okay. Chase the stranger count is two. Is also two. Like you know, I don't even know that we've seen him very much. We um, haven't. I think we, we may even have forgot to put him in a deck. <laughs> that does that does cut down on our chances of seeing him. It's true. Well. All right. Here we so are. So it looks like we're all set to go. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna let you do the reading for all of this, and I'll handle the rest of the game okay all right i'll get my reading voice on then all right so this is scenario six the pallid mask so we check our campaign log mike if we did not escape the gaze of the phantom or if we're unable to find nigel we will read intro one so i will do that all right all right you are stirred awake by dirty stale air and dust in your throat you are lying on a slab of cold stone inside a lightless underground passageway how did you get here? And where is here exactly? A shiver courses up your body and your hair stands on end. Rising to your feet, you take stock of your surroundings. Bones decorate the walls and ceiling around you, open mouthed skulls peering back at you everywhere you look. Record in your campaign log that you awoke inside the catacombs. Ooh. All okay. Right. Now, Mike, we check our log. if. Ishimaru Haruko is listed under VIP's interview. She is not. She's not. Well, that was dumb of Wendy and Roland. That was, yeah. We interviewed three people, but not that one. Okay, so then we would skip to setup, and we've done all the setup. Um, do you want to talk about a little bit about how locations work in this one? Yes, we are stumbling our way through the catacombs. Uh, whenever we reveal a catacomb, it'll tell us where to put adjacent catacombs and the further away we are from home base designated here by this resource the harder things become i believe a skull is a minus x where x is the number of locations away you are uh, that sounds right oh and this is the one with the uh the token card is not complete so i'll have to grab that <clears throat> oh right right yeah um so we have we have elder things in there don't we that's right that's right now we have 13 more catacombs in this catacombs deck and in the bottom five is the location that we are ultimately looking for that's right so we gotta move 
got to move. Um, all right, so Mike, I'll read the agenda and the act, and then I have, a, I have a, a strategy question for you. Sure. After that. All right, so agenda 1A, Empire of the Dead. The dank, chill air of the catacombs penetrates your clothes and causes you to shiver. Everywhere you look, the remains of the dead greet you, a grim reminder of your own mortality. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. That makes sense. And Act 1, Through the Catacombs. At the end of the long tunnel next to you, the stranger steps through the darkness, his pale mask glinting in the candlelight. Wait, you call out. He glances your way before vanishing into the shadows. Once more, you are forced to track him down to find answers. Find the man in the pallid mask. He is somewhere in the catacombs. And we won't advance until we're instructed to. All right. Wow. All right. So, so here's my strategy question for you as Safina. So I put under my card. So for those who are new to how I do Safina, those cards are the ones that are under my card. That's her five. I put a hot streak there. Hoping to, to draw my special card, my painted world. I didn't. Ooh. But I'm wondering if I should have not done that and had it just start in my hand. I've got ways of kind of like mitigating some cost as well early in my hand. So I kind of was hoping to get lucky, but I'm curious what you would have done. Oh my. Well, you do have two emergency locations in there. Right. Like I've got Cashes. money. So, you probably would have pulled one of those money makers back. Right. Then I wouldn't have had. Oh, see, yeah. I don't like. Right. I'm not a fan of Think on Your Feet or Ward of Protection being stuck under my card. No, you're right. I can't get them when I need them. So, it was just, it was a tough draw this time to actually put five under me. But, well, we'll see. like you said, you're not exactly itching for cost reductors at the moment. You've right. got some in here. Worst comes plan to is worst, to, you can draw one after. Yeah, my plan is to uncage the soul for some right of. See, well, actually, maybe some shriveling because I got my lock picks. Mm. Oh boy, it's, it's hard, man. All right. <laughs> All right. So we awake in the labyrinth of bones. You want to read that? Well, that's a creepy place. <laughs> yes. The labyrinth of bones, a pillar of bones dominates the center of the circular chamber. Several dark passages lead in multiple directions. So this is a really good one, I think, to pull. I think right I away. Agree. I completely agree. Because um, we get to go all sorts of places from here. And we need four clues here. And so the trick with clues in this one, dear listeners, is you can't go to new catacombs without spending, for us, two to get there. Um, yeah. And for those who are catching us a bit late, yes, this is my post mulligan hand. Um, <laughs> uh, I think this has got to be the worst one I've pulled ever. Really. That's yeah. terrible. So speaking of mulligan, I want to take a slight mulligan. Okay. Oh. And I'm going to put the hot streak in my hand. I've been thinking about it. And a second backstab in there. Okay. Are you going to be are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. We haven't changed game state yet. Okay. All right. So wow. Here we are. All right, you want to go first or do you want me to? Uh my turn will be pretty Quick. Go nuts. Um, all right, so I am going to put Hot Streak out. So that gives me seven more resources. All right. Then I'm going to uncage the soul for Right of Seeking, which will cost me one. And it has three charges. 
And I think right away, Mike, I'm going to try it. Go nuts. All right. Um, it is four to two. I'm up. I'm up to. Do you have anything for me or no? Uh, not. <laughs> so, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. I will get rid of one of my lock picks to be up three. Oh. Okay. What an awful. Yeah, I don't even have pips. Okay. Well, look at that. Okay. I get two clues. I'm mobile. Excellent. And I need to take a charge off. There you go. That's me done. Okay, I'm going to put out a flashlight. And, man, I need to draw, 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 but do I dare? <laughs> what a terrible hand. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing. I have to. Draw. Draw. There. Uh, <laughs> I know. No, hey, I so don't blame you. All right, monster phase. Obviously nothing. We can control in. Mine didn't do anything, did yours? Uh, nope. Try it again. All right. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. All right. Interesting. Oh, what a nice draw. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right, draw your card. Oh, what do you want me to do? You could probably just double click uh, that plus. Uh, yep. I've got a ghoul minion. Cool. I'm not going to lie. I don't really want him. Yeah, I'll take him. We'll so hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I think this would be a good time to think on your feet. Now, how does Think on Your Feet work with the need to spend two clues to go to somewhere? Uh, it's an additional cost for you to enter. It says move to a connecting location. does not have to be revealed. Uh, I believe you would have to spend the clues. You think? Yeah. Okay, so then what I'm going to do... Well, are you just going to take this thing from me and beat it up, or...? Oh, I'm okay if you shuffle it back in. No, it doesn't shuffle it back in. It will go right to you. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Unless the next thing is a, another monster. <laughs> <laughs> um, in which case, short game. In which... Oh, really? Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Let's do it. All right. Well, then I'm going to go there. I'm going to spend a dollar. And I'm going to head this way, and I'll spend the two clues to go there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We have catacombs the gate above to hell. and catacombs below. Okay, so the gate to hell. Arrête. C'est ici l'Empire de la Mort. Yeah, all right. Um, four clues. Okay. And a low shroud. All right. My card is bum ba da Side. I'm doing I'm sure you can deal with that. Draw. I drew a minus two. So you lose by one? Uh by one? I lose by two. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I am luckying this because why start hurt? Yeah, that's not a <laughs> not a good start. Okay. All right. You do your All right. thing. You want me to go first? Go nuts. You want me to go nuts? Go nuts. All right. Well, I'll go nuts by getting this fancy knife I bought recently into the world. Um. I like this low shroud. So what I'm going to do is tap that, and I will be plus. It looks like I am a, going to be a six to one with a right of seeking. Them's good odds, right? Ooh. Oh, do we right. Know what, yes. Do we know what that does? 
Yes, we do. Okay, so minus four. Did you fail? Oof. I I did not. Good, because if you had, you'd have to search the pile for a ghoul or geist enemy and draw it. Okay. However, I do suffer the right of seeking setback, uh, which is to lose my remaining actions, but which is can't. unfortunate because I was going to move around. But uh, all right, that's me then. Okay. Well, let's punch this guy. What is that? That's a minus one. Just minus one. Let's bam. And I'll do All it right. again. That is minus two. And the skill test is successful. This attack deals one less damage. That deals really? nothing. Wait uh, a minute. We're not supposed to have cultists in this bag. We don't have cultists in this bag. So all the ones that I moved over there got they, put back in. They did. Okay, we're just All right, so anytime we deal a cultist or anything, yeah. Yeah, those are supposed to be replaced Good. with the elder things. All right, minus one. So that thing's dead. My question okay, now, is, do I We do know that that changes our distribution, blah de blah blah but we don't care. All right. Um, nice job. Are you going to do your superpower? I don't have an asset from my discard pile. Oh. But I do have... Uh, that's just to get a victory point. I'll save that. Although, I do need to draw oh. cards badly. You're talking about bury them deep? I'm talking about burying them deep. That's a wimpy guy to waste it on, so I'll just let him die. I'm not sure what is in here, monster-wise. Uh, there's some... There's some stronger ghouls. That's the wimpiest thing in the deck. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm putting out a leather coat for my last action. Nice work. Everyone could use a leather coat. All, All right. right. Monster, monster phase, there are none. We can control N. Come on, weapon. That's not a weapon. All right. Um, I will... The pit below, attached to your location. Plus one shroud. At the end, each investigator attached takes three damage. <laughs> All right. I'll let you deal with the attaching of that. Actually, I can, I guess. All right. Um, oh, sweet. Another one of these things. All right. Come on, man. Pitching unexpected courage. Nice. And that is... That We're works. unharmed. All right, so, Mike, this is fun. It's such a low shroud, although it's not so low anymore, is it? Um, but I was thinking I would go and take all, this, all the clues off here. But if I draw another funny symbol with right of seeking, that's real bad. That's a that's risk. Oh my god, dude, don't do that. <laughs> um, so what I I'm don't think do... you're in any position to do that. Yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is kind of kit myself up a little bit and go. If that's all right with you. Yeah. Go nuts. Okay. So I'm going to one, two, three. You know what? Before you kit yourself up. Yep. Talk. We don't know what those other locations do when you get there. That's true. Although this is definitely worse. Yeah, no, we're good. I mean, I guess I could go first, but I'd rather make sure I have things. Sure. One, two, three, four. And then for $3, I'm going to grab a set of lockpicks. Nice. All right, so I feel like I'm kind of set for things all right and then i'm going to spend my two clues and i'm going to go south into uh oh the shivering pools that shivering pools means either take a direct damage or lose five dollars okay i should have gone there first <laughs> when it's revealed put the topmost below or to the right how about to the right Sounds good. All right, and I do have my turn there, so I'll take another damage. And I think we can all agree that's bad. I think so. All right. Got a plan for me. Let me know what it is. Uh, I'm going to draw cards. <laughs> this is awful. 
All right, I'm going to start uh, exploring here. Let's get myself a clue. What's that? Minus four? Minus two. Oh. Minus two. Are we supposed to have tablets, actually? Why are there tablets? In oh, that's the one tablet. Yeah, never that's All right, so redraw. Minus okay. two. So that's a zero on a zero, <coughs> which I believe is Work. a pass. Sweet. And that's my turn. Woo! This is so not going right. well. <laughs> a slow start just means a fast finish, Mike. Oh, it does. Mm. All right. I I'll swear I have weapons in this deck. Plural. Ooh, the painted world is out. <laughs> what did you draw? Uh, evidence. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you'll get another ghoul minion. So, my card is... This one again. Oh, so this Good one lord. Disappears. Oh, right. There should be clues on this guy. I mean, you can always backtrack up. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Um, Which is fine. Okay, this guy surges. He normally eats a humanoid. And yep. It comes yep. up. He's also a pit. Oh, that's not good. Boy, good luck on getting that last flashlight to work. I know, eh? <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is... you mind if I go first? Does it matter? Go ahead. Okay. Um, oh, I got the painted world now. So many limited options. I'm going to head up north. I'm going to use my last right of seeking. If that's all right with you. Oh, yeah. And I'll tap that, and I am up five. And I get a skull, which is not enough. It's a minus one. Okay. So that's one, two actions that I've done. Uh, that is a skull. Yeah, minus one, right? Yep, so you lose your actions. Oh, shit in a bowl. You're right. Forgot all about it. Indeed. That was a costly right of seeking. All right. Although I never failed the test. that's So I never wasted a charge. I can get behind that. You know? All right. How, do tests How am work? I going to live with five, with three health? That's That's my trick. So what happens if I draw a minus four? On a zero. Um, don't you... I can't go below zero, right? I think you can, no? I was unsure about that. I thought that was the trick. Or is, or is the whole trick of getting a shroud to zero because you can't fail it? Auto fail without... you can. With the auto fail, you can, right? I think you're right. I think you're not. You can't go below zero because things like that don't stack to that. So, let's say your draw is so bad that this is one thing we can give you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go up. All you right. Find a bone-filled cavern. While you're investigating it, you have a f one fewer hand slot. That's interesting. That is okay. Interesting. And you put to the right. Well, I put two and below. Two. So it looks like you can't actually place anything. Correct. That is a trick of these catacombs, isn't it? All right. So. Mike, we are about, I just want to warn you, we're about two turns away from our first three minute pause. Okay. Uh, did I. I only did two actions, right? You did two. That's correct. I'm drawing a card. Okay. Okay. You can discard both pit belows. All right, you drew a card. Yeah. All right. Monsters, no monsters. We can control in. Didn't work. You want me to go first? Uh, let me try. Okay. All right, it was you. All right. All right, so I got a lost soul. 
Uh, which I... does what? Why don't you tell everybody? Okay, so you check your campaign log and you do a test depending on whether you have more doubt or conviction. And just to clarify here, we have two doubt. Let's pull it up. I thought you said we had two conviction. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, two conviction. Okay. So you're doing a will to test. Um, yeah, test two will. No, you're testing will against your own book. Oh, Sorry, oh, X is wow. your book. So yeah, three to two. Boy, we're pretty good. You know what? We're good investigators for this particular thing. You know what? When you think about it, right? Let's just do that. I need to pitch cards anyway. I'm five up. <laughs> so I draw a card for passing. Okay, so I've got eight cards. Okay. All right. So by the way, our doom threshold is six. We're at four. Um, my Mythos card is, I am happy to have it. <laughs> okay, what's the Shroud on that one now? Five? Yep. That's hard to deal with. <laughs> All right. So, I can't go anywhere that's not already explored. I agree with that statement. So what are you saying? I'm going to let you go first and decide where you oh. want to go. You can go south or you can go north. Well, I would go north to try to join forces with you. The Let's problem is... All right, so I'm just going to shrivel. And I'll add two to my skills. So I'm at six to two against this cat. Do you agree with my math? Uh, yeah, about that. Okay, it's that thing again. It, and we're okay. That is a minus four, but you still pass. Okay, so kill my ghoul minion. I will spend clues to head north to you and find the script of the sep sepulchral lamp. Okay, you use will instead of uh, something else. Oh, that's good for me. Yeah, when it's uh, revealed, put the top two, um, and we're putting them to the right and above. All right, so the catacombs are getting bigger. All right, so we are now at bottom five. So none of these locations that are currently out are our location of interest. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right, but we still have to go there to, you know... All right, so I've done one thing, two things. All right, I shriveled something. All right, so then I'm going to have to kind of go the slow route, which is a little bit of a bummer, and just use lockpicks. All right, um, so I am at four, eight. To two, would you agree? Oh my gosh. Ah. And I get my elder sign. Well, that's interesting. You may draw an event if you wish. I do wish, and I think I'm going to draw. Um, I'm going to draw one of my quiches, actually. All right. Um, and I'll grab a clue. And I do not use a supply from lockpicks. Is lockpicks the greatest card in the game? Like, Pretty good. Seriously. Um, like, my wife can't seem to keep lockpicks around. She keeps auto failing. Oh, that's brutal. I. Yeah. That is too. Yeah, that sucks. Anyway, I'm done. All right. So I'm gonna why don't you come on over, dude? I'm going to put out a cherished keepsake, and I'm going to draw. <laughs> well, at least I got a heroic rescue. That's something. Well, why don't you get a clue? Because those are all my actions. You moved. I cherish keep shake. Take Andrew a card. Andrew. Okay. All right. Monster phase. No monsters. All right. Let's control N. Mm, didn't work. Do you want to go? Uh, your turn. Okay. 
There we go. I have drawn a lost soul. So my will of four against my book of two. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm at plus two. Um, I cannot take damage. Plus three. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait, you're doing a will test? Yeah. There, plus four. Plus four. Let's hope that's enough, shall we? Okay. Nice. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> take a take a card. Don't forget to draw. <laughs> oh, I did. I got my devil's luck. What is that? Oh. It's a great card. Um, great I, card. I just Not can't... useful at this moment, but yeah. great card. Okay. So now... Uh, I will draw the first bad card. You ready? Come on, monster. Dame. Hmm. I, I'm going to take this just four to four. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. I actually won. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. I could have lost that right of seeking with no charges and felt okay. Hey, a monster. Ah, I was hoping you'd get it. Oh, well. <laughs> so you could heroic rescue? Yeah, because it's an auto damage. And it's fast. Yeah. There are reasons to do it. No. no, that's awesome. Too bad. Sorry. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Do you want me to go first, or do you want to see if you can do some stuff? Mono a mono. Okay. And I'm going to just attack him straight up. Nice. I can return, what, any card to my hand? Uh, one card. Oh my gosh. Uh, lost Soul shouldn't be in there. Please take that Lost Soul and put it in your pile. <laughs> oh, did I not? Yeah, I'm actually going to take Mono a Mono back. It's not, it's not bad. All and... Right. Your dude is dead. Uh, yes, and I am going to play Evidence. Nice. To grab a clue. And awesome. To grab a clue. No. Okay, we'll do it this way. Okay, that's two things from you, right? Hang on. Or one. What is my... Okay. Uh... Mono Mono is a first. That was two things for me, so I get one more. Right. Oh, and he's dead. Okay. Don't forget, yeah, he's dead. I got a draw. There we go. Look at you. Holy Finally reached crap. into your backpack and found that old machete. I do have prepared for the worst in here, right? <laughs> and another All weapon. right. Yeah. Are you done? No, two weapons, I think. Yeah, I'm done. All right, I am eight to two. All right, I am. That puts me at four to two, so I still get to keep my lock pick. Where, where are all the clues? Are they under you? There aren't any. We took them all, but uh, we I only them as a group. I only grabbed one. Oh, okay, that's what happened. Just Did you put enough on there? Okay. So I've got All one, right. you've got one. I've got, should have two. I had one last turn. Did you not spend them to move up? Nope. No, I got one from this location last turn. So shouldn't you have one right now? Or, or so you, now I have you two. You just lockpicked, gotcha. I just lockpicked. Now I will move to the right for two clues. Ignore the stone the archways. The unrevealed locations adjacent to stone archways. To the right. All right. What did we find? We don't know. And there are no clues here. That's tough. But it means you can just walk into the next one. That's true. And I will. Uh, I've done one. I've done two. I think I'm just going to do that, dude. All right. 
Blocked passage. When you reveal, take two damage. That ain't good. Um. <laughs> there is no way around that. Nope. Oh. Okay. Now that is one of the locations we needed to find. Right. Also, no clues. Yep. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly disconnect. Okay. Disconnect your voice. And. I'll be back in two minutes. Sure. Wow, what a game. <laughs> intermission, intermission. So uh, this is weird. We, as you've known, if you've listened to our stuff for the past month or so, we've been having some connection issues, which we think we have licked. Uh, we're trying a couple different things. I am hosting the game rather than Daniel. And he's also disconnecting his voice every hour. I know it sounds weird, and I cannot fathom why that might work, but his voice actually doesn't garble when we do this. Uh, perhaps just the packets are getting backlogged somewhere on his network. I'm not quite sure. But so far, so good. Uh, this, <laughs> well, we were trialing our connections. Uh, we ran a couple test games of this, just a few rounds or so. This is by far the worst draw I've ever had. Um, this is neat. It's fun. Uh, and at least I can do some stuff mono a mono has been nice there's a couple damage dealers in here i got my the two uh assets that i like to recur although you know machete came out what 16 cards left in the deck i have still yet to see any of my aquinas so this has been a rather interesting game uh daniel he, he uh he took all my luck it looks like he got all his good cards out which is great because somebody had to and uh wow safina looks hard to play hard to build to yeah i was gonna play safina at one point but just could not did not get any inspiration for how to build her not quite sure where to go with her yet uh york itself is a very big departure from my usual i am primarily a seeker player with some guardian and rogue so I guess this is my my way of keeping one foot in the comfort zone is to have someone that can take a bunch of guardian cards. But I still find it really weird to play. What is this lucky card everyone's using? So we've got our starting location here, which means Daniel is now uh, in bad skull territory. They're all minus fours. This is also the clumpiest I've ever se seen the locations. I've normally seen them go, you know, all the way down and then all the way back up, or they branch out in a couple different directions. This is the first time I've seen it all clump like that. Just seems to work that way. So, I guess the question is, how are we going to keep that passage open? We don't have many monsters out yet, but we will. Oh yeah, this is when it all starts getting creepy. Uh, good thing I have my devil's luck. I'm also kind of guessing. I've only played through this campaign once, and my doubt and conviction and all the choices we made were very different, so who knows how this will play out. Chasing the stranger before, I think we chased him eight times, which led us down some different paths. But with chasing the stranger at two, that probably sends us somewhere different. See if I can pull some stuff up. All right. Oh, you're back with us. What terrible things are you saying about me? Whew, I was running out of stories to tell. I was going to start pulling up deck lists. We can do that later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, so um, we are in a somewhat tragic place right this minute. Uh, well, well, I am. We yeah. do not heal, and uh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, you do still have. Oh, you've got elusive, which is amazing. You got think on your feet, which is amazing. No, I, I and war to protect. Like I can. Yeah, good. I can dodge some stuff, but not forever. Okay. Well. Anyway, we are should control N, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Mm. All right. That would be now would be a good time for drawn of the flame. All right, so we need to flip the agenda. Yes, we do. Uh, right click, to, flip. Yeah, I gotta think up. I gotta drop one of my cards. Have to decide which one. Oh, you're at nine. I know. Hey. Um. Jeez. That heroic rescue is pretty awesome right now. I'm gonna need that. You know what? I'm dropping emergency cash because really. you have seven dollars. Yeah. Okay, this will flip. All right. Ah, Spectre of Death. What? Spawn at the starting location. All right. It's a hunter and he retaliates. While he is exhausted, it takes one less damage from each attack made against it. And he's got Bom -bom. 10 hit points. 10 hit okay. points. Wow. Okay. I would like to avoid him. Oh, right. no. Hold on, hold on. Before you draw that, because that's actually my card. Oh, it is. Good. Go to the global tab. Okay. Right click oh, you're, uh... the top agenda and say reveal the next agenda. Got it. There you go. All right, Empire 2, or Agenda 2A, Empire of the Undead. All around you, the eyes of skulls glow with an otherworldly hue. A ghostly voice echoes throughout the labyrinthine catacombs. You sense a threatening presence looming around you. It is just outside of your vision, past the dim fog that permeates the catacombs around every corner. Ba -ba -da. There you go. And I have always been the first to draw cards, so uh, I will take your poltergeist. Please do. <laughs> That's a delight. All right. And you got Eyes in the Walls. Oh, I'm okay with that. Let's just do this raw. Skull, minus two. So I have failed by two. Now I have to divide that as evenly as possible among eligible cards. So that'll be one on my cherished keepsake and one on myself. That's not bad. Not too bad. Okay. All right. You want to go first? Well, I think if there was ever a monster to shrivel, it's the flipping poltergeist. Oh, yeah. You can damage him with the shriveling. Yeah. Because um, I need to move. I need to... I need to chart locations. I feel like this is where I should go, but getting there is going to be tough. Um, but anyway, I will first shrivel okay. this hideous thing uh, with that, and um, that puts me at eight to three. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh. there it is. Um, it is in this. It is in here. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. I think we can all agree. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to do with it other than to shrivel again. But this time at six to three. Uh -oh. Let me see if I can do something to add to my will. We are below skull territory. A skull will fail you. Okay. Ooh. There it is. So the poltergeist is gone. And for my third act, I'll head back to the stone archways. All right. One, two, three. Let's pull out a machete. Woohoo! I will spend a resource off flashlight. Elder sign! Nice! 
Not only do I get the clue, I get to pull something back. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be a lucky? I think it might be. I think it might be too. All right. And then for my last action, I will spend $2 to put out the Gravedigger shovel pitching the flashlight. Good work. That's, that's a fine turn, man. Yeah. All right. Oh, I need to get rid of my boulder, guys. Sorry. All right. Uh, monster phase. The Spectre of Death hunts us, and I believe he goes up to the bone-filled cavern. Oh, he does. He does. At least that's where I hope you decide him. he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, when do, So, it's okay. I was going to say, when does the pallid mask come in? But I... We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Control N. All right. No, yeah. Control N. All right. Another ward of protection. Hey, there's another machete. Excellent. All right. I'm taking my card. You ready? All right. Obscuring fog. Oh, that's that's fine. fine. Okay. Nearest unrevealed location. Pretty sure. Yep. So he's about to turn into the corpse eater, right? He will shortly. Um, I have the clues to break into there. Okay. Do you want to go there? I'm trying to think of like how the catacombs can build itself. Well, um, either way, right? I guess. I kind of like you running screen on the specter of death for me, though. i got to be honest. Well, I plan on coming right back down to kill him. I mean, we could leave the, the Dawson. Docent. Let me have a look at these um, cards here. Had that guy that we pitched earlier. Does he hunt? He does not hunt. The corpse dweller does not hunt. Right. They so just stay there and okay to leave him there. Okay, in that case, okay. I'm just gonna run in and beat this guy to death. Who's this guy in this case? Specter of Dosen? Death. Oh, you're gonna beat him to death? It may take me a couple turns, but I'm going to beat him to death. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. I'll let you go first. Geronimo. Uh. <laughs> All right. What am I? I am a five versus a three. Let's okay. do it. Zero. That's two damage. Nice. Let's do that again. That's another zero. That's another two damage. All right. I almost feel like joining you and shriveling him, but I'm going to run in a different way. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to go one, two. I'm not going to end my turn in the shivering pools. If that's yeah. all right with you. Yeah, that's, that's a good call there. And for my last thing... I am actually going to get some money. All right. And then I can end my turn in the shivering pools. All right. All right. That is me. Control in. Nope. Oh. You are hit by the specter of death. Devil's luck. Interesting. You want to do that now? Okay. Yeah. I figure... What enemy is going to be bigger than that? Actually, I should check. Um, ah, nothing will be bigger than that. But Those cards are meant to be used. I agree. Um, why did you throw it over there? It's exiled. Oh, exiled. That was, I see it. All right. Um, I will draw a card. You ready? Uh, control N, right? Oh, yep. Sorry. Okay. I drew a corpse dweller. Well, guess what happens to him? He eats a docent way up north. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, he does hunt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense that he would. 
Okay. All right. I guess that's why you kill docents so they don't turn into that. Yeah. Because these are not small monsters, and they're not worth anything. That's the thing that bothers me about the Corpse Dweller. Like, I really think it should be a victory point monster, don't you? You know what? Uh, yeah, that, that monster looks like a victory point to me. Oh, oh well. Are just... Oh, that's fine. Okay. Testing will. That's not in their bag. That's not in the bag. Oh my god, you're a Elder a Sign beast. Oh. Lord. Unexpected courage. And I do not have to discard down at this point. All right. Okay. So now, do you also think, like I do, Mike, that I should go south and draw into the flame? <laughs> Let me kill this guy first. Okay. Because if I draw a monster... Oh, you draw. Yeah, you know what? We don't know what's going to happen. So let me try this first. Okay, I can also end my turn in the Shivering Pools and lose $5. That's not a big deal. So I might go the safe route for now. All right. But go hack your specter to death. Unexpected courage. Ooh, good thing you did that. Uh, you win by one. Oh, yeah. No, that's a seven. I'm an eight to a three. I win by five. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm six. Okay. Let's hit him again. Auto fail. And hit him again for zero. I still think you've done a bang up job against this dude. Yep. Sure have. All right. However, now he's going to hit you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to go south for one. Okay. Um, I mean, there's one quick way to find those clues, but I think I'm in too much pain to do it. But I have so many ways to protect myself. However, I don't get the clues until after it's resolved, right? Oh, you take one damage here. It is. Oh yeah, that's right. Or lose five dollars. Yeah, which, which I could do. Uh, but I'm wondering if I should just <sighs> draw into the flame. I have to deal with the encounter card before I get the clues, right? Right. So I can't. Well, you you draw the card first, right? But I'm thinking about like think on your feet. Like I can't go to. Oh yeah, you can. Because it says, draw the top card, then discover, oh, then discover two loot clues at your location. Right, so I think the timing would be that I would have to think on my feet to... Yeah. All right, so maybe what I'll do is kind of go... You could elusive. It really came down to that. Right. You know what? I'm going to draw into the flame. Okay, All and right. the top card is a Crypt Chill. I'm going to go natural against it. That's uh, not there. Minus four. Minus four. Oh, man, not I lost. I'm going to have to get rid of Right of Seeking. Okay. Then I'm going to discover two clues at my location. All right, now let me ask you something. Can moving kill me anymore? I don't remember. Yes. There is... Oh, wait, you got the one that says you take direct damage? But there's nothing like a block passage again, is there? No. There's something that when you stay there, you take a horror. Oh, I can do that. All right, so then I'm going to spend two and I'm going to move. What do you got for me? Another oh, Labyrinth yeah. of Bones. So that's going to basically find where we need to go, right? Pretty much. I mean, that's that's the Labyrinth. Hmm. I wonder how to put these so you can see your stuff. Okay. All right. Can I get four clues? So there is still one more location in the bank. 
And you know that's going to be the one, right? We'll see. All right, monster phase, you're hit. All right, so Cherish Keepsake goes, and I take one horror, and then the leather coat goes. All right. Okay. Control N. Uh oh. I'm a hypochondriac. Ah. Which is fine. Which is fine, because if I take one or more damage, You're dead anyway. I'm dead anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. All right. Can I lose my machete? There are ways I can lose my machete. So I don't there want to are, ditch that. There are some ways, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to ditch Heroic Rescue. Why are you ditching something? Nine oh, cards. your hand limit. All right. Um, you ready for my Mythos card? Yep. Oh, God. All right. Okay, so I'm going to ward a protection that. Yep, you will. All right. I'll spend a dollar, and I will take a Hara. Okay. Oof. Another docent. Do they travel together? He goes to the nearest unrevealed location. Well, All this right. guy should have moved. He should have moved south. All right. Okay. All right. Whew. All right, our turn. Well, why don't you go first and kill this guy? Uh, Minus four. What am I up? I'm up five on three. That would be a fail to two, so I'm going to play this. Oh. Thus, you just added him to the victory display, my friend. Killing him. Oh. And I get to pull back my leather coat. Mm. So good. Five damage on that dude, hey? That's yeah, they're not they're not around. easy. Let's just move in there. Take him. You sure? Yeah. Alright. I mean I gotta deal with them somehow. Minus one? Uh, minus two. Minus two, actually. Sorry. Which but is still you enough. still get him. Okay. All right. Nice. You're amazing, man. All right. Finally so here's a problem. Here's a problem. I don't read so well, and without a right of seeking, I'm not really a clue getter. So I'm going to have to do this kind of slow. I am okay with that. Okay. I feel like time is against me a little bit. A little um, bit. Anyway, eight to two. Okay. Minus. I three. am three away, so I get it without losing a thing. That's one. One act, right? Um, so I'm just two to two on it. Oh, boy. Yeah. I think. I need all my cards. Um, I'm going to draw. If that makes sense to you. Uh, sure. Go nuts. Uncaged soul. That's interesting. And then... <sighs> Can anything hurt me from failing a test. Nothing, right? Uh, like if I just go zero to zero? Oh, I see what you're talking about. Uh, let me check. I don't think so, right? Nothing should be able to hurt you. All right, so I'm going to go zero to zero. Ready? Yep. Oh, except that. Yeah. That could hurt you. 
Oh, what is that? Why? I wouldn't have done it if if you didn't lie to me. Oh, yeah. No, um, there's a thing that if you fail, you can draw a ghoul and put it into play with you. Oh, is that this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So I really meant if nothing hurts me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was being too literal. I'm like, yeah, nothing damages you. Oh, shoot. No. I, I meant in like, yeah. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> um okay um so what are you gonna do instead <laughs> well i'm going to have my feelings hurt that you lied to me i will take from the discard pile one of those ghoul minions okay okay All right, then, since I obviously can't stay here with him, I'll be elusive for $2. There's also a thing on your feet, but I guess that's probably better for something else. I don't know that this is spawning. I think it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. And then I end my turn there, and I think I'm going to pay the $5. Are you staying there? I have no... Oh, I don't have to, do I? Not if you lose it. You just have to go somewhere where there's no monster. Is there anywhere revealed that has clues? Nothing, right? Uh, yes, this one. That puts me so far away from where we need to go, though, brother. I know. Um... Oh. This is tough. I like... I don't mind the ghoul minion. So I'm actually going to do what I did. Um, I don't mind the ghoul minion where he is. I can go in there and shovel him, but... I just can't let him hit me. So, we're fine. Why don't you think on your feet, then? Instead of elusive. If you're just going to go beside him. Is that a spawn? What he yes. just did. Yeah. It says spawn. All right. If it says spawn, then I'll do well. I mean, it doesn't say spawn, but when, a, when an enemy appears at your location, it's right. It's I'm I'm not going to do that because think uh, I don't think elusive can get me out of if I were to draw an enemy off of the deck. True. It wouldn't. Elusive is only on your turn. So I'm going to do what I did. Okay. I'm set. So that's me. I believe we're both done, right? Monster phase. No one hunts. You get hit for... One horror and my leather coat goes away. Okay. Um, control N. Right of Seeking. Nice. That's big. Dodge. That's really big. That's really big. All right, we both had good draws. That means these draws are going to be awful. My card is Eyes in the Walls. Taking Horror, eh? All right, I'm at plus one. And I will let that ride. Minus okay. one. Pretty sure I'm minus two, right? Yeah, yeah, so you lose by one. Okay. One horror. I can handle that. Huh. <laughs> what? What'd you get? Another docent. Oh, boy. Get out of there, Mike. <laughs> All right. Okay. Congrats. You want to do it? You want to go first? Or you want me to? Mano e mano. Ping, and a machete. Machete. That's a skull, which is Minus a two. Hit. I'm going to bury him deep. Yes, you are. Oh, that's beautiful. William York, you are my hero. <laughs> my gosh, do I ever mean that? Now get the hell out of there. 
Oh, I gotta pull back my leather coat. Oh lordy, or do I pull back my keepsake? Not doing so hot in the will department at the moment. I was gonna say, do your keepsake. Uh I like you one running around with a teddy bear. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. Okay. Because I do have the clues to open up the one next to me. Oh, you do? Alright, so I'm going to go, one, engage the ghoul. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I'm right of seeking. Okay. Got it. For a dollar. Alright. Um, so that was one. Two to move into there. And three to shrivel this cat. All right. All right, that kills him. <laughs> uh, if that were an auto fail, game over. Yeah. All right. I think we have a monster phase with nothing going. Control N. Whew. Oh, no chemical transmutation. I don't Aquina, need that. Aquina! I got her. She's nice to see. Oh, boy. Um, all right. I don't need the card I drew, so it's going to be a will asset. All right. We are almost halfway through our agenda. My card is Spirit's Torment. Attach my location. That's fine. Sure. For you. <laughs> Hi. Do we like ravenous ghouls? Is that okay? That'll deal with it. Okay. All right. Well, Mike, do you mind if I go first? Go nuts. Okay. I'm going to lock pick for a clue. That puts me at Eight to two. Okay, I got it. You got it. I've drawn that fucking thing how many times? I've drawn <laughs> Elder Signs. Yeah, you draw Elder Signs. I draw the Eldritch Horror or whatever. Um, I feel like I want to move. I want to leave these easy clues behind me for you. Oh, I'm not getting them. Not with that attitude. <laughs> and I'm gonna go. Any attitude. I'm gonna go north near you. Oh, that's the one I was gonna open, dude. Oh, right, right, right. So let me go and I here. Have to do it. <gasps> Tomb of Shadows. When Tomb of Shadows revealed, advance to Act One B. Flip that card for me, will you? Ba -da -da. Read away. Rows of skulls chatter their teeth endlessly as you pass through a narrow stone archway into a round chamber illuminated by firelight. In the center of the tomb stands a stranger, peering into the blaze. Across the wall, shadows dance and twist with the flickering of the flame. The stranger turns to face you, and his own shadow spreads across the wall. Where his shadow's arms should be, tentacle shapes emerge. Enveloping the walls in darkness, he lifts his hands toward the walls of trying to show you something. Spawn the set aside, the man in the pallet man, weakness in the Tomb of Shadows. Check campaign log. If Ishimaru Haruko is not listed under VIP slain, search the collection for her. She's not? Nope. Okay. We, did we didn't slay her, her, huh? Doesn't what? this dress look gorgeous on me? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> There's a lunatic on the loose here. Um, okay. Whew. So we have an aloof pallid mask sitting on me, right? All right, can you please reveal the next act, Mike? Act 2A, the uh, path is barred. It does tell us to go to 2A, right? Well, you always do, yeah. right? Okay. The shadows cast along the bone walls shift into the shapes of several figures, acting out a macabre parody of the king in yellow. 
objective. Tell us how to stop the path from opening. If the man in the pallet mask is defeated, advance. Objective. What is he trying to show us? Investigators in the Tomb of Shadows may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. So, okay. uh, while he is in the Tomb of Shadows, you basically have to shrivel him to death. He cannot be investigated away. Why not? Uh, as per the Tomb of Shadows ability. Oh, uh, he gets postman out and cannot be defeated by him. Oh. And that's it. So you basically. So I'll try to I'll try to get the number of clues. Yeah, um, I'm going to. This is going to get really nuts for me because of those two docents. All right. Well, Cause... I have one more action actually. All right. And I will now right of seeking. That puts me at six to four. And I'll throw that to be up three. All right. All right. All right. Two clues. Nice. Okay. All right. I mean, this man in the pallet mask is still aloof, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say Dude. he loses aloof. Dude, this is this is real, man. All right, stabby stabby with my machete. That's not in there. Oh, there's. Did sign. I go first? Did I go first or did you? You went first. Okay. Dude, I just got my elder sign. <laughs> it's what you do. <laughs> it is what I do. All right. Ah, oh, that mono and mono is amazing. So he's dead, right? Yeah, I'm just deciding what to pull. I think I might actually get my lucky this time. I think that's the right call. I know what's coming. All right, so I get to play an asset in my discard pile for free, and that's going to be Leather Coat. So for my last action, I am going to spend four resources to put out my oh, baby. Yeah. Whew. All right. Come at me, Ishimaru. She's so good. All right. Speaking of Ishimaru, hunters. Dawn up. Dawn up. She goes right to you. And Victory zero. That's offensive. That's me. So I will take a damage here. A. Wait. A horror here. And I will deal a clean out one horror and exhaust her. Oh yeah, so the damage doesn't put it, get put on my coat, it gets put right back on her. Yep. I think we're doing the right thing. I don't I don't need to beat up the man in the pallet mass, right? I mean Oh, I don't think you can. Well, I could do a series of like evades and backstabs and shit like that. Uh, I see. You know? I um think good. I think I think good. I think this is the right thing to do. All right, but of course we're going to auto fail next time, but whatever. Here we go. Control N. Right? Uh, I get a, yeah, Control N. You get a what? Uh, nothing. Hey, there's my other Aquina. You just drew another elusive? Yep. Dude, you are not going to lose this, I hope. All right, my card is Shadows Behind You. Put it in plenty of threat area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Um, okay. I love that. I love that card. Okay. Oh, that's fine. You might never have to leave that location. Oh, I will. I don't have to worry about my clues, though. Okay, so... Um... Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to? Go nuts. Okay. Well, for my first act, I'm going to look behind me. Okay. Okay. For my second act, do do I lock pick just to be safe? I think I do. All right. 
that make sense? No. Well, if I draw a... Well, actually, it doesn't matter if my turn ends here, does it? Right. All right. So, all right. With the spirit, that puts me up again, six to four. And I have no cards to help my will except oh. for the painted world, which I'm okay with. All right, so I'm plus three. Plus four. Oh, okay. Well, you got okay. it. Okay. All right, so then... Mike, I would like to spend all four clues. Da, 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 da. Wait, wait. Oh. Flip the other card first. That disappeared. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It'll be in the discard pile next to it. There it is. Flip that card. I am not used to this. Yeah, I know. Sorry, man. All right. All right, if the Malin and Palo Mouse are defeated, if you spent clues to advance, recognizing the stranger poses no immediate danger to you. You study your surroundings and strange shadows along the wall. You take something from the fire, and the shadows twist and distort once more, revealing a strange diagram. Mark two doubt in your campaign. Ba -ba -da. Remove the Malin and Palo Mouse from the game, and advance to Act 3A, leading the way, not the way out. Okay. That's, that's all right. Leading the okay. way. All right. The shadows along the walls of the tomb begin to coalesce. Strange runic symbols twist into the image of a building with a tall tower, its spire reaching up toward the ceiling. And the stranger beckons for you to follow, disappears through the stone archway behind you. Ignore the forced ability on block passage. If each undefeated investigator is in, block passage advance. Okay. All right. You've got one action left. Well, I think I'm going to run backwards. <laughs> uh, that's Spirit's a good idea. Torment. Spirit's Torment. All right. It's fine. All All right. I am done. So, I am going to attack. That is a minus, minus. one. Well, that was, of course, with my machete. So, da, 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 da. five. I'm a four. She has a fight six. six. Oh, she does. So I'm going to. Why don't you just that. evade her? All right. How do you deal one more? Let a Quinn to take care of it. Yeah. So I am going to put something down. I was going to attack move. of opportunity. I was going to move. Yeah. I move up. Attack of opportunity. She attacks me. So I will put the horror on the cherished keepsake and the damage on herself because a queen is going to exhaust and take a horror. You should put both sanity losses on uh, Aquina. I don't need to. Well, your, keep, your keepsake's gone, right? Yes, but I did defeat a monster just now, right? I guess you did. <laughs> the royal you. <laughs> Is that like the timing works out for that? Like things get discarded immediately? Uh, after like... you defeat an enemy. Right, but the defeat happened from the same like windows of shit. I don't know. Like I, don't, I really don't know. So <laughs> it, it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a, like, do things go in some limbo for discard or whatever? I think but... that's um, stuff happening at the same time. I think it's okay, all right. So you get to decide. All right, cool. All right, so we need to survive this control N. Basically, yep. <laughs> Draw oh, there's the my flame. vicious blow. All right. Draw my card is... is... Shadow behind you. I'm going to ward of protection that. I got the shadow behind you. Okay. Oh, so when I moved here, 
sorry, I was supposed to drop one of my clues on that location because of Spirit's Torment. Oh, right. Oh, my clues are all spent, by the way. We're reading the shadow on the wall. Let's... Okay, are we ready? Let me just... Yeah, we're ready. Okay, I'm going to go one, and Spirit's Torment makes me... Wait a second, wait a second. You don't have the clues to go in there. Why aren't you just elusive? Oh, I didn't even see that it was unrevealed. I'm sorry. Yeah, I will elusive for two. <laughs> Into the block passage. Yep. And hang out. I'm going to move one. Holy crap, what's that behind me? Get rid of him. <laughs> and then move again. <laughs> All right. If each undefeated investigator is at block passage, advance. Why don't you flip that for us, Mike? Okay, here we go. Following the stranger's lead, you take a circuitous route through the underground passageways. Finally, you are confronted by a dead end, a tunnel blocked by an impossibly thick wall of collapsed bone and rubble. The stranger stands nearby, holding the partially charred skull he pulled from the fire in the Tomb of Shadows. What now? You ask, confused. He holds the skull aloft, and the floor begins to collapse into a pit of dark emptiness below. Bones and rubble from the wall fall into the pit, and it grows larger with each moment. The stranger bows and falls backward into the pit before you can grab him. Wait! You call out, but it is too late. With the pit growing and threatening to swallow the catacombs entirely, you have no choice but to follow him. Right. Resolution 2. All so, right. so Mike, I have never been this far in this campaign. I've never played the next two exciting. things. I, this is very exciting for me. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. I got to grab the rule sheet. Perfect. All right. So, got to catch up on our campaign log here. We woke in. We woke inside the catacombs all right so it seems to me that the man in the pallet mask is trying to help us what a great guy he seems like a friendly fred i'm glad i didn't beat him up all right dude well i guess we'll talk about it after we read a little bit huh because yeah that all was right. fun man all right are you ready? Uh, I think you got the campaign are. log open. Yep, got it ready? open. So we've got we're doing resolution two. Resolution two. Okay. All right. You fall ceaselessly through the empty abyss. No air slows your descent or courses through your hair. It is a passageway devoid of reality. Finally, you pass through an invisible gateway and enter another realm. Looming above and below you are two skylines. One a warped reflection of the other. A vortex of swirling black clouds and crashing waves lies in between them. You study both sides, the familiar city and its strange mirror. Could this be the path to Carcosa? A passageway between realities where realms converge? If so, all that is left is to find where this gate appears on earth. You fall into the vortex below. You are shaken awake by a police officer and lifted to your feet. You feel as though the weight of a train is slammed into your head. The pain is unbearable. The man shines a flashlight in your eyes and asks you several questions in French. Your eyes widen with realization and you rest your arm free from the confused man's grip. I should go at once in your campaign log, record that you know the site of the gate. Mm. Add two tally marks under chasing the stranger. Right. Got all right. It? Yep. Remove all cultist tablets and eldritch things from the bag and then add two tablets to the bag. Oh, tablets. Okay. Okay. If Ishimaru Haruko is the in the victory display, which she is thanks to you, Mike, record her name under VIP's slain. Ooh. 
VIP slain. And then we get victory points. All right. So we don't get any for Bonefield Cavern. We get one for Shivering Pools. We get one for the Tomb of Shadows. We right? Get, yep. Two. We get two for the Spectre of Death. And one for Bury Them Deep. So that is five. Five experience. Go ahead and record that. Nice. Dude, this was... This was interesting how this played out. It's neat, hey? Um, and, and I'm glad that... Remember what I said? I said, hey, slow start, fast finish, when oh, you couldn't yeah. draw anything, right? Just yep. give you a machete and everything seems to work out fine. Oh, and once I was able to start recurring those mono a monos, Tesla's yeah, damage. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I mean, I mean, you really dealt with some seriously monstrous monsters, right? Like, oh yeah, that you took was... out you took out three big things, um, which gave me the time to just build the build the world. Yeah, and that that worked. Uh, it was tough. And that worked really well. Because um, you were running out of... Well, I sat on four power. damage for a really long time. It's like halfway through this game, I was one away from dead. Yeah, um, it was... But I really, like, I really like the defensive aspects of this deck of mine. Like, it's just sort of... It, I can deal with stuff off the encounter deck. Yeah. You know, I like, I had, a, I, had a, I had a perfectly good hand... For anything that was going to do that last damage. Yep. So, man, this was great. Well, we did good. We did good. What a. <laughs> this is, I mean, this what is. A crazy run, hey? Yeah, All this is the best I've seen York ever. Which is amazing. Not just in this campaign, but like just. He was firing in the catacombs, man. He did exactly what I wanted him to do, which was tank stuff with his assets. Yeah. And he walked away. He, he's, you know, half. And being able to gone. continually recur these things for free. Yes. Is huge. Yeah. It's just huge. I mean, that is really. I didn't even need my shovel. Quite lovely. No, but it's good to have one, isn't it? It is. It's good. I kept it for the extra attack boost, uh, which makes it better than a machete if I'm dealing with more than one enemy. Right. Right, right. Swing that thing like a maniac? Yep. I knew I should have, but I couldn't stop digging. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, man, that was so fun. Yeah, well, yeah, that's I'm... the first time I've completed that because obviously the last time we tried. Um, and now, is it premature, Mike, to say our technical issues have been put to rest? Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, I feel like my voice connection has been fantastic. Yep, no, it was good all night. The, the game actually um, finished, which is fantastic. Sorry about the whole yeah. last thing with the, the Paris adventure and all that. Um, you didn't miss much. We died. That that about died sums up fast. Paris for us. Yeah, um, we did not do well. <laughs> but you know, here we did really well. So I don't know. Well, it's good to be back. Yeah, I mean, we could try next week. Uh, me running it on Octagon and see, and then we like truly see, or we could do some kind of practice game off air to see if. Yeah, probably that. Just to be sure, because we haven't quite picked out what it is. Man. So, on Octagon right now, Black Stars Rise, which is the next, um, the next scenario, is is there. And I think I loaded all my images correctly for that one. But okay. um, I'll still have to do that. Jim Carcosa is not there. Which is fine, because by the time we get to it. Right, but it's been not there for a very long time. So I don't know who's in charge of this part of oh yeah octagon um because 
Black Stars Rise has been there for months and months and months. And like, so I'm a little worried about Dim Carcosa, but haven't thought to ask in Discord or anything like that. Oh, I'm sure we'll be. So it could be it. it could be that we we do a couple um, Lord of the Rings campaign quests before coming back or something. I don't know. Yeah. We'll work it out. I would love, you know, I would love it actually, Mike. We could get together and start Black Stars Rise, um, just to see if all the images are loaded correctly. Oh and stuff. yeah, it's we weird. It's weird because of the multiple agenda decks. Yeah, that's so a very. Good one too, so I, I, really yeah, I don't. Like that quest. Yeah, I don't want. I, I, I don't know how it looks on Octian and Got how it. it works and that kind of thing. So, wow. This is good. Holy. How many yeah. people are? Uh, how many people saw this happen? Uh, four people. Nice. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, glad we could finally get this to you. I'll have this up on YouTube shortly. Uh, I guess we'll just end it there. Have yeah. A good, week, good night.